everybody and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to take a look at another MCW, a meal cold weather. We have a uh, menu number six, spaghetti with meat sauce, packaged by the Warnick Company down south in Cincinnati, Ohio. Let's go ahead and get this thing open up. Now this does have a, a peelable seal, but as I think I've said in the past, I usually find these a little bit hard and that's normally what happens. I, I tend to just rip right through. So these bags are a little bit thicker than your, uh, than your typical uh, MRE bag. So it's just better to cut them, or at least I find. So okay, right off the bat here we have some uh, shortbread cookies. And these were, okay, so we've got a date code of uh, 3326. So, the 326th day of 2013. So a little bit older, uh, but still, actually this would be like the last year of its uh, effective five year date. Uh, yeah, should all be fine, right? <laughs> I've eaten older stuff. We have nut raisin mix, big fan of the uh, nut raisin mix. So I bet you this, uh, this must have been a part of a 2014, uh, you know, menu selection. So we've got the third day of 2014 on the nut raisin mix. And these are, uh, again, you got your peanuts, uh, raisins, walnuts, almonds, hazelnuts. Uh, and this one does not have the little M&Ms in it. I like the ones with the little M&Ms, but uh, that'll still be good. Ooh, nice. Smoked almonds. Pretty small uh, uh, portion, but you know it's 120 calories and four grams of protein. So I, I love almonds; they're they're my favorite. Uh, oh, oh wow, yeah! Finally, got some vegetable crackers. I haven't gotten a pack of vegetable crackers in a long time now. Normally, it's only the uh, the regular crackers. So that's that's pretty sweet. Doesn't look like we have a spread for those though, which is unfortunate, but it'll be okay. We have a uh, lemon lime beverage based powder in the nice big package here. That's always a uh, good one. We have our trusty MRE spoon. And here is our entree, our spaghetti with meat sauce, nicely vacuum sealed. Let's also go ahead and check out what's in the uh, the accessory pack real quick. <clears throat> All right, so we've got our toilet paper. We've got some sugar, moist towelette, pack of matches. There's our creamer for our coffee, type three. A little packet of Tabasco sauce, always great. And then finally, some regular gum. Let's go ahead and move these aside just for a second here and uh, we'll start this going. I've got some, uh, some hot water on standby. Let's go ahead and cut into this, see if we can get a good little hiss. I don't know if you heard that, but uh, it hissed. I, I promise it did. It was just a little, little quiet this time. Get this separated a little bit here. But as you can see, we have some uh, little noodles, pretty decent sized chunks of, of uh, beef. And uh, a really good, really good portion of spaghetti. So, what we want to do here is we'll get our water, and as I always say, uh, you can always put more water in, but you can't take the water out. So start with a little bit, 
and then add more as you go along. Again, generally the procedure that I go with, ouch, that water is hot. Generally what I'll do, I'll add a little bit in here. I'll try and get everything scraped from the bottom. A chopstick is really nice and helpful, but the spoon does okay. I'll judge it, add a little bit more water, and then normally I'll just let this sit. Now the reconstitution process will take a lot of water and it will thicken quite effectively. So right here is, is actually about where I would like it to be when we're finished. But, you know, maybe about halfway through letting this sit, I'll generally go ahead and just add a little bit more water based on what I see. So that's pretty much that. But I just, I just go on, uh, on feel. Now on the package here, now that we have it unfurled, it does call for 16 ounces of hot water or a third of a canteen cup. And we're waiting 10 minutes. But usually at that five minute mark, I will go ahead and check and see if I need a little bit more water and sometimes I do. So, we're gonna let this sit and I will be right back with you. All right guys, and we're back here. Um, let's just start tearing into everything. Uh, let's get our crackers out. See if we can capture his here too. Yeah, a little bit of one. I don't know why the vegetable crackers aren't, nope, oh, they're starting to fall apart. <laughs> I don't know why they're not more rations. I always kind of like them, but I, I just don't see them much anymore. They're just different, you know? Every now and again, it's nice to have something that's, that's kind of different. There we go, smell good. Uh, let's get out the our shortbread cookies. These are normally in crumbles, so yeah. Yep, pretty crumbly, but still good. And I'm getting the crumbs everywhere. There we go. God. Some of those just turned to powder. <laughs> yeah, we'll get that oxygen absorber out of here. There we go. And get the powder out of the way. There we go. Okay, so let's open our nut raisin mix next. Good. Very nice, very nice. Um, <laughs> so it's interesting, you know, so I get nut raisin mix and I and now we have also have smoked almonds. Um, I mean I, I it works for me, but still I guess you could have just Whatever. I, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna try. So those uh, look look very salted. I'll put those off separately. But uh, you know, one thing is is that in the nut raisin mix, you you only really get like I'm seeing about three almonds here. So at least I get more almonds. All right, and you know what? Let's let's make our drink real quick. We'll move our tray just a wee bit and. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and make our drink. So, <clears throat> open this up. And again, the nice thing about these is you can, you really kind of take the, the guesswork out of the uh, water. It does have a fill line, although you guys know me, I water down my drinks because I can. All right. Also does not have a great big opening here, which is sort of eh, but... Okie dokie. Add a little bit more than what I probably should have to this pouch. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get her mixed up here. And this is also kind of nice. Like I, I've had some commenters in the past say, well, I remember one recently, it was like, I can never get used to somebody adding the powder to the water and not vice versa, you know? 
I don't know why I do that. I just kind of do whatever strikes me at the moment. But, uh, but anyway, here. So whoever commented that, and I'm sorry I can't remember off the top of my head, there. I added the water to the powder, not the powder to the water. Be happy now. So we have that nice, uh, nice green color. Smells good. I actually have a little bit more powder in the bottom of the bag. Again, you know, I, I don't, I don't really want to like act like I'm complaining about these drinks. But uh, you know, the the beverage powders, with the exception of the carbohydrate electrolyte powders and then the little tubes of powders that sometimes you'll get in um, accessory packs. The, the normal beverage based powders, they don't mix well. They, they just are, are not, not seemingly designed to do that. And uh, you tend to get you know some floaters in there. Now eventually if you really work at it, it'll, uh, it'll do its thing, but generally Generally, it just it just doesn't work like that. So anyway, still makes good beverages. It, it just, you know, not necessarily mixing the best. But anyway, we got a nice mixed drink there. And finally, let's go ahead and get out our spaghetti with meat sauce here. Should be nicely reconstituted. There we go. And a big old giant portion. Get out of the bag. Uh, big old portion. So we've got 510 calories in this package. 12 grams of fat. <laughs> 1,810 milligrams of sodium. That's 75% of your daily allotment. 74 carbohydrates, 27 grams of protein. Um, now again, I think I've said this in past videos regarding these MCWs. To be honest with you, the portion amount in an MCW is a bit big for me. You know, it's kind of like I could do it more than one setting. Like I could half this and then keep some for later, which is why it would be nice to have a resealable package. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, okay, let's go around the tray. Let's start. I'm going to eat a salted almond. <laughs> Ooh, he goes salty. Wow. Or smoked almonds, I'm sorry. Smoked almonds. So they got a real nice smoky flavor to them, but man oh man are they salty. Goodness. I could use with a little bit less salt there. We'll try our mix here. I just, I usually like to try and get a little bit of everything. So that's, that's a little bit of everything there. That's nice too. Everything tastes good. Nice and crunchy. I do like the one where they put the little M&Ms in it though. It just, it's kind of neat. Try a little shortbread cookie. This one's one that's actually intact. And those are nice. They're not super sweet. They give you just a little bit of hint of uh, sweetness. They're very crumbly. They fall apart in your mouth, but they're very good. Before I start in on a cracker, I'm gonna take a little drink because that's been a lot of, a lot of uh, stuff just dry out your mouth a little bit. I like the lemon lime. Always have. Always thought it was pretty good. Let's try a piece of cracker here. As you can see, you know, got a couple little flecks in there and I don't really know if it specifically uh, brings out like what uh, enriched flour. I'm just going to read this here. Uh, carrot, onion, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, celery, tomato. So Cram a couple veggies, a couple standard veggies in, in a little cracker. Mm. 
kind of reminds you of just a nice sort of like a vegetable stock you know these have a unique taste I really do like them they're my favorite don't get me wrong the standard crackers are fine but if I could get an even 50-50 distribution between vegetable crackers and then the regular crackers I'd probably be pretty happy all right let's get a let's get a little bit of our spaghetti with meat sauce here this is always a good one kinda has that taste of like you know Chef Boyardee you know canned pasta but it's very good the noodles are uh, tiny and there's a lot of meat there's actually quite a bit of meat in here so that that's that's good get a little bit more of that protein but kind of, kind of mild tomato sauce not overly salty you know the pasta in these do tend to mush unfortunately due to the cooking techniques and then reheating but uh, you know this uh, it's not bad freeze dried meals tend to retain a little bit more of their original texture than some of the ready to eat meals but anyway it's good it doesn't really need uh, Tabasco but I'm gonna add it anyway <laughs> cuz I'm crazy like that and I didn't even get in the pouch that's good that's oh god I opened it with my teeth got a nice big old shot of Tabasco just straight in the face so I know I have some folks out there who are not a big fan of Tabasco or um, you know don't use it uh, I, I think it's actually uh, Kayla Sanak who uh, is allergic to jalapenos so she tends to stay away from some of the spicy stuff which is fine I totally understand that but I do like to add a little bit to it it, it just adds another sort of uh, dimension another flavor mm. that's nice without the uh, or in the absence of cheese spread which would have been nice um, just gonna crush up a couple crackers in my pasta here that's good I do like that again just want to see these crackers more often <laughs> alright guys well it was good having lunch with you here today and uh, hope to see you again make sure if you haven't to hit the old subscribe button and hit that bell because if you don't hit the bell you don't get notifications that videos have come out if you'd like to see anything reviewed on the channel my PO box is down below in the description um, if you'd like to support the channel any further than what you already do already you can head on over to Patreon, that link is in the description. There are some Patreon exclusive videos over there if you'd like to watch more stuff. Also, make sure you're checking the links in the description. I tend to try and post some helpful stuff in there. A couple Amazon links. Um, ForeignMRE.com, they've helped us out a lot. Um, MREinfo.com, great resource, great forums and all my favorite YouTube channels. So, I want to thank you guys for stopping by and have a great rest of your day. See ya!